everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I really miss you guys, and I wanted to uh, try out something new with you guys. Uh, well, this is Christmas, uh, the Christmas holidays, and um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with my family, and uh, but it, I miss my crafting area and uh, just playing with uh, inks and paints and whatever. So while I was out there. Um, with my family I cut out some magazines and did all kinds of stuff so that I could uh, do some journaling and just have fun and took a bunch of pictures that I can alter and uh, yeah so just had a lot of fun and uh, today I wanted to share with you something that I've been wanting to try for a long time and uh, it's something that I saw Cat Hand do and uh, it's Dendrick Art I think that's what it's called and so when I went to the dollar store, I bought two plates of glass and I've been meaning to try them out and to um, do that type of technique. And I haven't had the time, but today I have this little digi that I want to uh, place uh, with a little sentiment that is cut out of a book. And I want to place it on an index card. So I thought this was a great time to try out this technique and see what comes out of it. So here we go. I, you're not seeing, okay. I think this time you're seeing a bit more of uh, my craft area. Okay, so basically you put within two sheets of glass and this is the cheap stuff that you get um, some photo, um, it's, it's those um, document holders that you put and I bought two of them at the dollar store. So they're a dollar, I think a dollar fifty now each. And um, so basically you put a dab of of paint and I'm hoping I'm doing this right uh, I want something colorful so I'm gonna paint, put those and uh, a bit of this I'm trying to use all kinds of paints that I like and uh, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of it today because uh, of the fact that I'm just hoping to get a few uh, good ones to make my um, my index card or whatever and uh, share it with you guys but this way you get to see my first time at this and hopefully it's not going to be a mess so basically you just sandwich the paint within the two glasses and then you press it and as you press it the paint expands so depending on where you put your dab of glue of a um, paint sorry it's gonna expand and mix with the other ones like the blue and the pink but the other ones are further apart and then the trick is to lift up the glass from what I saw is to lift up the glass and not make it smudge so that you get beautiful trees and stuff yeah, it worked Look how yummy is that. So now let's try to get some of that on. I have some index card that I had already used uh, some of the paints, leftovers and whatever on it. And I'm gonna try to lift up some of this paint on this and make some uh, cool background with it. So let's try this out. Lift this up. Yeah. Too much paint on it. You don't see the, the lines as much. Yeah, this is uh this is better I think. And uh, let's try it. I brought some uh, old book pages as well. I figured I could use this and use that as a background eventually. Oh, and I'm smearing. See, I didn't rub it properly, but it's still gonna be okay. Because it's just paper and paint, and I can always make something out of it. And I'm learning, so yeah, I'm not doing it the best of ways, and it's probably not the best video to learn this technique. I would highly suggest that you go and um, visit uh, Cat Hand if you want to see the real uh, good stuff, because she did 
a fabulous video with and she did her hers much better than what I'm doing here oh, this one is pretty cool I think I can do something with that one let's dry this up a bit so that I don't uh, ruin it in the process of uh, putting it in the other paints because I want a bit more than this on the, my background okay so this is kind of dry and let's try this with the turquoise here and and some of the purple yep it's cool cut this off a bit I'm going to try to put it here as well and this is just fun you know just having fun and playing that's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm trying to do and that's my New Year's resolution to try to have more time to just play have fun use techniques try out new stuff let's try this out oh see a bit of purple and I wonder if I can uh, get a bit of the green in there as well Meanwhile, my other stuff is drying, so I'll be able to use some of it as well on, on here. I'm liking how this is turning out. So let's use the back, the rest of this page on here. That's pretty cool. I think I can do some stuff with this as background and, and whatever. And that's the whole point. It's not taking this so seriously. It's only paint. It's only fun. I tend, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to uh, be a bit afraid of, of this type of stuff and, and just trying it out and but I shouldn't be. I mean, I get, a, I do a lot of, I end up with a lot of scraps and whatever. So, I mean, if I use up the rest of the paint on scraps, it's not that bad. Because what's the worst that's going to happen? Nothing. But, yeah. I will be uh, looking for, I'm liking how this is turning out with all the dabs of colors. Let's try this bright one. It would be nice with uh, if some of that green would, was to lift off on it. Yeah, just a bit. Maybe I can reactivate some of that with some paint here, with some water. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, so basically that's the process of it. I'm gonna have to try this out way more time than this uh, super easy to wash afterwards just take a, a baby wipe and and I guess you could use the BB wipe as well afterwards to uh, if you wanted to so super easy clean out loving this I love when cleaning is not a big mess and it's uh, easy uh, easy peasy to do so let's put those glass away and now I can actually do something with um, I'll put this away as well but it's me when I have too much stuff on my on my work table okay so we have two contenders for for this I think these two 
are the ones that I'm liking the most with this. And this is my Digi. And I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one because just it has more colors and uh, it's fun because it's it's uh, it's really an index card that when I played with my jelly plate uh, there was some leftover paint on it and with stencils and whatever and it came out very pale and not something that I would have been able to really use but now it's kind of fun so let's Let's dry now. So yeah, let's use this uh, gloss medium to glue it on. My God, I got a bunch of glub on it. Okay, so and I do have some deli paper so that I don't make more of a mess with my uh, work surface. Put this on. And this little digi. This is a digi from uh, Carly Sue called Sexy Cat Lady. And um, that's one thing I'm seriously afraid of that eventually when uh, I get old, I'll be a cat lady. I uh, have dogs, I love my dogs. But dogs are a lot more, uh, they're fantastic, but they're a lot more trouble to, um, to have if you want to travel or do anything. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking as we get older that uh, we might not have um, dogs anymore. We might just have cats, but who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. I'm thinking that this is how it was being spelled out, I'm hoping. Because I, <laughs> that's the thing too, I've seen people take pictures of the sentiment before they do exactly what I've been doing, which is cut it all up and then uh, you don't remember exactly how it was written before. I'm hoping I'm putting it the way it was supposed to be. So cutting it up. Here is what it's looking right now. I'm dry it up a bit, and I'm thinking I'm gonna um, edge it around with uh, my Fiber Castell pit pen, just because it needs something. Okay, so which color do I go with? I think I'm going to go with the typical black. So because I've put the, uh, the gloss medium, I can kind of shift it around a bit and make it like this so that it's not so... so uh, So dark and uh, obvious and it's gonna dry permanently of course I'm making a mess with my fingers at the same time but I kind of miss that so I don't really care that I'm making a mess right now it's kind of fun plus I'm not going to work because I'm on holidays this week yay so I get to play that's gonna be fun and right now it's Sunday but this is gonna be shown on Tuesday
kind of like that. Now I wonder if I should just edge around her a bit too. Just so that I kind of get a bit of shade. I love how it moves while it's not uh, completely uh, dried up. Okay, so let's try this with a bit of purple. Because I don't want it too dark, I want it kind of colorful. some green around here since it's purple already well it's a fast 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 little index card but I'm liking how it turned out so I hope you guys like it go out and uh, check out Carly Sue's digital images and uh, go out as well to uh, check out Kat's and uh, awesome video she's uh, much better than me at uh, doing this technique but I'll try again and uh, I'm sure I'm going to get better at it. Okay, bye guys.